Mr. Ratchet doesn't have um, the best manner um, as regards his, what is obviously a servant. Uh, my job is to look after him and take whatever he throws at me. Um, I, one of the reasons, I suppose, I don't, uh, I, I'm not very emotional, I don't react very much, is, is that uh, being a servant, um, I have to take what flack I am given. And Mr. Ratchet is a flack specialist and I have to cope with that. What makes, I think, makes Ken a um, very good director, like other um, good directors I know, um, he's been an actor. He is still an actor. Um, the, the number of balls he keeps in the air is just mind-blowing. Um, but I've always admired his uh, ability, you know, to, to be able to uh, perform um, and then cut himself off and look at himself objectively. I remember when we were doing the film of Hamlet, for instance, he would do to be or not to be, rush to a monitor, watch himself doing the speech, saying, no, I need another one. Going back, doing it again, coming back, look at it himself, objectively enough to be able to say, no, I can do that better, do it again. Um, I find that ex extraordinary. I, I, no way could I do that. Uh, but with the director's hat and the actor's hat on, at virtually one at the same time, um, it's quite amazing to see what he does because his eye and his mind um, are everywhere at once and he's performing and he's directing. But the first thing you notice is the facial hair, which extends practically from ear to ear. Um, and there's none of the um, kind of precise, rather camp, um, buttoned up uh, Poirot. This is Poirot with a streak of 007 in him. And um, the script allows um, that to happen. And I think that's the take that uh, the script and the director uh, have taken on, on this version of a fairly well-known story um, is very exciting. The design is is wonderful. Um, the 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 train um, is a wonderful replica. I think there's, I've been on three trains. Um, you ask for one Orient Express and three come along at the same time. Um, they're they're slightly slightly wider because of cameras and lots of actors bumping into each other, but very very authentic, um, and it looks like no expense spared. Uh, the costumes are beautiful. The ladies look gorgeous. Um, the, the gentlemen are um, very well accoutred. Um, it's, it's one of those periods, unfortunately, with wing collars and studs and all those horrible things. How they ever did it, I don't know. I mean, we need a team of people to get us into it. Um, but it's, it will look beautiful and the decor is is knockout absolute knockout it's very difficult to speak sometimes because your jaw is on the floor um because there are you know i'm i'm star conscious there's judy dench and michel pfeiffer and johnny depp and willem defoe and, uh you, you know it um and there you are acting with them it's a great uh, rather scary at first um um and uh, Part of me thinks, I hope they're as scared of me as I am of them. Um, but then it's, it's been wonderful because getting to know each other, getting to work with each other, trust each other, have fun with each other, that's another of Ken's great, great gifts. He allows his companies to have fun. Be serious, do it properly, but don't angst yourself to death. It's like quizzes and games. Um, you read an Agatha Christie to try and beat her, to work out who did it. And I think ten times out of ten, you get it wrong. You know, she comes up with the one person that you didn't think. I think uh, it will thrill people. Um, thrill them in the sense of th being unexpected. I think they'll come thinking they know what it is. Um, but I think their expectations will be heightened and I think they will be surprised.